Western Extrusions in Carrollton, Texas, ships various types of lightweight metal and aluminum building materials. Individual bundles are sometimes packaged in cardboard boxes wrapped in plastic or shrink wrapped and the shape and size of each bundle varies greatly both in height and length. Bundles are also loaded with their own dunnage banded to the bottom. All trailers are preloaded with multiple unequally sized layers. Western extrusions loads have some unique characteristics that make securement challenging for Melton drivers. Loads are loaded in stop-off order. For example, the last stop is loaded first and is on the bottom layer, other stops will be loaded on top of these. Because the materials are different sizes, layers are uneven. The uneven layers and types of materials create instability in Western extrusions loads. Notice the cardboard boxes being loaded directly next to the blank aluminum. Also notice they are of different lengths of material loaded between the driver's side and the passenger side. The layers are also of unequal heights. This is what a fully loaded Western Extrusions trailer looks like before the plastic is put on. Always look for opportunities to secure Western Extrusions loads in layers. This will increase stability and decrease the chance of load shifts. When unable to secure the load in layers, remember to adhere to the 5 foot rule. Throw two straps over the top layer in the first five feet of the load. Throw two straps over the top layer in the last five feet of the load and one strap every five feet for the remainder of the load. Remember to alternate winches and use alternating pull to force the load to stand up straight on the trailer. Western Extrusions supplies edge protectors. These edge protectors must be used when securing Western Extrusions loads. After the straps have been placed over the load, snug them down to prevent them from blowing off. Western Extrusions will supply a ladder which can be used to climb up and place the edge protectors under the straps. After this has been done, tighten your straps to secure the load. Take care not to over tighten straps that will crush or damage the freight. This is an example of a Western Extrusions load that can be tied down in layers. Notice the straps being run through the middle and over the top. This load belongs in a Conestoga wagon. Notice that all the straps on the rear bundle are over the top and that there are multiple straps on the cardboard boxes in the center of the trailer. Notice that the dunnage has been banded to each individual box. Also note that the dunnage doesn't necessarily line up with the dunnage above it or below it. This is one of the things that makes these loads so difficult to secure because each layer has the potential to be a different height. When evaluating your load prior to securement, look for opportunities to secure the load in layers as this will increase the stability of the load. In the photograph shown, inserting a strap between the third and fourth layers will increase the stability. Use a push-pull rod to assist in layered securement. If unable to secure in layers, follow the five-foot rule previously mentioned. Use alternating pull to force the load to stand up and stay straight on the trailer. Material is loaded on the trailers in the order it will be unloaded at the various consignees. Therefore, it may not be possible to secure in layers or to get constant contact or pressure on every piece of the load. Note that the material we pick up from Western Extrusions isn't always long cardboard boxes. In this example, we have boxes stacked vertically on wooden pallets. Notice the pallets are of different heights and the boxes are of different heights. 
The height differences make this load difficult to secure and it is easy to crush these boxes because they are all cardboard. Western extrusions loads cannot get wet for any reason and they must be well tarped. Inspect your tarps for holes and tears and patch any sections that are not watertight. Make sure the tarps are completely covering the load and are pulled tight and well padded to prevent the load from getting wet. Before securing, inspect each load for visible moisture, condensation, water or water damage from both sides and both ends, paying specific attention to the interior of portions of the load. Lift the plastic if necessary to get a clear look at all the freight. Wet trailers indicate the need for thorough inspection of the cargo before securement and tarping. When delivering intermediate stops on multi-stop loads, only remove as much tarp as necessary to unload the correct freight. Limit cargo exposure whenever possible. It is Melton Truck Line's policy that we do not untarp in the rain. If tarps are wet at the time that they need to be removed, peel the tarp off instead of simply pulling it off. Any visible moisture, water damage, or wet trailers should be reported immediately to the safety or claims departments. Stains, discoloration of product or wrapping, smeared lettering on labels and or covering that is stuck to the product are all signs of water damage. Report any request to untarp in the rain to safety immediately. Western extrusion loads are sensitive to moisture and every precaution should be taken to prevent damage. Before unstrapping, look for signs of instability, bundles that have collapsed, straps that have become loose, cargo that may be leaning outward, or any other sign of cargo movement. Stand clear of your trailer during the unloading process. When removing securement at an intermediate stop, only remove the amount of securement necessary for the unloading to take place. If the load is unstable or there are problems with any western load, notify your driver manager immediately. The majority of problems with western loads almost always occur at the consignee. Road vibration and the inability to secure western loads in layers cause the loads to shift slightly as they settle. The solution is, after removal of the tarps, to evaluate the load and if the load appears to have moved or shifted in any way, to contact your driver manager immediately. Then Melton can help you get assistance in the form of forklifts or cranes to keep the load on the trailer. Thank you.